Hi, welcome to Addie's Yellow House. I'm Marissa and today we are paycheck planning, stuffing my envelopes for the month of July. I have my paycheck planner printed out with all of my sinking funds, the amount that I have budgeted for the month, and then I'll add in the total of um, what I have in each of those envelopes. I keep the total in the um, on the little trackers in my binders, but I figured I would try this just for easier reference for the month. Um, I did stuff my envelopes. I'm still staying on my budgeting plan that I started at the beginning of the year. I still budgeted for June. I didn't, I wasn't able to film it because I'm, my school year ended, but I roll right in to um, teaching summer school in June. And it was just being off schedule and then trying to be accustomed to like my summer school schedule. And then my son was part, was still part of the time in the school year and then his school year ended. So I've lost all, any and all hope of sticking to a routine. So I'm gonna try for July to get back on routine. Um, I don't work at all this month. So this month is hard because um, my son and I go on a lot of adventures and so that costs oh that costs money so we'll see how I stick to my budgeting for this month um so I went to the bank and it was so cute I brought this to the bank so I know how much um I'm pulling out and then I do the bills count and so it was a teller that I haven't gone to before since I started my budgeting. And so she was asking me about this paper and what I was doing and she um, was so sweet. She told me how proud she was. I don't know this woman <laughs> at all, but she told me she was so proud of me for um, finding a system and sticking to the system. And she can't wait to see me the next month when I go in to pull more money. So I pulled out 1,452. I have all of my bills. I'm just gonna make sure I got that amount of bills. Um, because we were chatting, she didn't, it automatically counts it out the bank, but then we are chatting and normally the teller I go to, she'll recount it um, just to make sure, but we are chatting and so none of us, neither of us remember. One, two, three, four, five. So hopefully, I should have 27 20s, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So far, so good. <laughs> It made me nervous after I left the bank and I realized we hadn't counted it. I should have 15 tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I needed a lot of fives this time. So let's do the two, the ones. I should have two ones and then let's do the fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two. Woo! That made me nervous. Okay. So I have all the money that I need. Oh, and I found this really cute, I don't know how old it is, it's a couple years old. I found this really cute um, bag from Kate Spade from years ago that I decided um, it'll just be my bank bag <laughs> since I don't have a bank bag. All right, so set that to the side. So we, we're gonna start with, actually, I should not have put that away because it tells me how I 
divvied up each one. Let me unfold this. All right, so let's start with my main budget binder. Household gets, I'll put this one this way. Household gets 500, so it gets four. One, two, three, four. And then four twenties, one, two, three, four. And then four fives, one, two, three, four. For a total of 500. So I have one, two, three, four. 420, 440, 460, 480, 45, 490, 495, 500. Okay, and I'll fill out my tracker later. Um, shopping, I said 50. And that gets put that like that. Um, five tens. I don't know why I decided on tens. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. I guess just to have smaller bills. I have left over five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two plus 50, it should be 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82. So I'm gonna write that here. Was shopping, I don't know that I did shopping on here. So I have 82 total. This is a new system, so bear with me, with me trying to fill this part out. Okay, dine out, I actually had $10 left over. I already put in my dine out. See, I didn't even put it on here. Um, dine out, I give myself 30 a month, and that's just if I go out to lunch. But I had 10 left over. Um, so I started with 40, but then I did get a boba the other day, which was seven, so I should have 35. 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. Just kidding, I should have 33, which is what I have. Um, I'm going to lunch later today, so I've already pre-written on my tracker that I'm going to lunch so I remember to write it down. That's the one. I have trouble with the dine out is because I will dine out but then I'll forget when I went and it was with cash so I don't necessarily remember it. Um, nails, I already, I like I said, I had the cash so it already gave me myself the allowance of 20, so two, four, six, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87. So I have 87 total in my nails. And then pets, I already, I lowered it to 15 just because that's the cash I had on hand. So I should have 108. 2, 4, 6, 8, 90, 95, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8. Um, I don't remember, I had, I think one of my subscriptions came out so I needed to pull the money. Um, one of my subscriptions came out in June so I pulled the money from my envelope to put back in the bank and then I never made it to the bank so I figured I will just use that cash to stuff some of the envelopes and um, that's why I only did 15 for pets. So health is getting 20 and I have not stuffed that one. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 105, 106, 107. And then 
in makeup, I upped to 40. Yes, so two, four, six, eight, ten, one, twenty. Um, and I upped it to 40 because it's my makeup and my skincare. I buy them all from the same company. Hair gets 20. And I'll be getting my hair cut at the beginning of August. So 120, 140, 160. And then I think I need to buy some shampoo. I think I'm almost out of shampoo, so. I'll be taking from that as well. And then clothing gets 20. I bought some clothes. So I have 40 for summer. And I used, I had a J. Crew gift card, so I used that. So I only have one gift card left. So that takes care of this budget binder then i move into my green one and sacramento gets 100. so let me color in another little cloud oh i did not expect that to come out that color and that is, I, trans I moved some to the bank already. So I have a placeholder. So five, six, seven. So I have 700 total for Sacramento, which I'm hoping on. I have to get to 3,500 for both me and Addie to go. And the trip is uh, at the beginning of January, so I'm hoping I can use some of my summer school pay to fill in a lot more bubbles. Um, Cub Scouts gets 40, and this is gonna go to registration in the fall. So I have 60 now, two, four, six. Um, I used some of it, because uh, Addie just bridged over to he's a weeblos now so i had to get him a new hat and kerchief slide karate is going to get 20 and this pays for um if he needs any gear or um, wants to do a participate in a tournament two four six sixty five seventy seventy five eighty eighty five He usually has a tournament in the fall and spring, and then I think his gi's getting a little snug, so we'll see. And then my credential renewal gets 25, which is a two and a five. And this will be next July, so in a year. One, 120, 140, 160, 180, 185, 190. And I hold three credentials, so it's 300 something dollars every five years. And then car gets 60, and I said 220s, or 320s. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 120, 140, 160, 180. So this one, is getting built up. I used it all for my registration. I think my registration is around May and then my service is done in May. Yearly subs oh I don't want to use that one. That one came out weird. Yearly subscriptions is 45. And my cricket, which is 96, came out. So that's I took money out of it to pay. Um, subscriptions gets 45 so it was kind of it was really nice um, to have this so this is the first I pulled from subscriptions 
since I started my budgeting. And it was so nice when that $96 um, came through, was deducted from my account. It was really nice to have the money already saved so I didn't have to, like saving a little bit each month rather than a bigger fee, um, a bigger payment when I have my subscriptions are due. So I'm glad I'm doing the system. So one, two, three, three, twenty, three, forty, three, fifty, three, fifty-five, three, sixty, three, six, three, blah. One, two, three, three, twenty, three, forty, three, fifty, three, fifty-five, three, sixty, three, sixty-five. So my next one, I don't think I have the dates on it. I think my next one is not until September. And then vacation um, has been put in 20 the other day and I'm putting in 20. So our vacation is in at the end of this month. So I ha we have one, 2,000, one, two, 300, three, 20, 30, 40, 30, 60, which I actually have, I'm gonna make that small because we actually have a little bit more than 2,000 in the bank. So we have 2,389 plus the 20 today. Twenty four oh nine. So we actually have twenty four oh nine. Nice. That'll be a nice, good chunk of money. And then we have like sixty something on there. Okay. And then household improvement is getting a twenty. I just bought a plant gonna try to be a plant person so I ran out of money not ran out of money so mine is lower so I have 41 in there um emergency I have a little over a thousand um it's like a thousand forty three now I'm not adding any to this one yet I'm just gonna let it sit for, it's in a share certificate, so I'm just gonna let it sit. Okay, and the next one is my 52 weeks. So this binder I'm saving up for, uh, we go to Scottsdale every Christmas um, to the Fairmont. So I'm gonna be filling in 32, 33, 34, and 35. It's weekly, but I get paid monthly, so it's just easier to do it all at once. And I think I'm back to the front. Yes, I am. Okay, so starting with week 32, and then I have my extra dollars here. So I said 10, so 20, 30, one and two. This one's nice because the little jars add it up for me. So I'll know how much without having to do math. 33, 20, 30, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And then 35. I have a 20, a 10, and a 5. So this total is 
30. That takes care of that. Next, I'm gonna skip the holiday binder, which is this one, uh, my pink one, just because um, I rolled dice and that takes a while. So I'll move on to Addy Allowance. So he gets 100, which I don't think I moved his, oh, I already gave him his allowance. Oh, perfect. Oh, so maybe I pulled out too much money. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll see. I might have a hundred left over. And then um, celebrations, I'm doing a hundred and it's all in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Oh, actually, I'm going to take this 100 because that is for this binder. And I'll just tuck it in here so I know to play my game later. Okay. And then I need 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So I think I decided for my celebrations, I'm just going to do five for each envelope. And then I will color in off camera and I'll do the math off camera for this one as well. take it's gonna take time doing all of this but these are all family birthdays so I can save for presents The next family birthday is August, so I might need to, if I have extra, I'll stuff a little bit more into that one. And then this one is just when I have extra money I fill it. I try to do fill these definitely because um, they're birthday presents. They're for birthday presents for my family. I am not doing a good job filling them. I will fix that. This. Did I do this wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe I, oh, maybe I said I was gonna do 10. Okay, yes, I did. I forgot how these work. <laughs> there we go. I don't think I stuffed for June. So these are all getting 10, even though some of them say 20, um, I only allotted for 10.
So next time I should pay better attention to how I do this. But that's okay. I'm still learning. Oh, I'm so excited uh, because I said I teach summer school. Um, and I we had some students at my school who did not make graduation in May. Uh, they were, you know, a few classes short. They attended summer school. They busted their behinds and they were able to graduate last week um so i'm super proud i had about 15 students total um graduate from summer school um and they don't have to come back as a fifth year so in california you if you don't make your graduation requirements uh you can come back to the school as a fifth year student and they really didn't want to, so they just busted their little tissues and they got it done and we had a little ceremony for them and it was just the most amazing thing in the world um, to watch them finally get that done. And then Disney, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, and then 47. This is an odd, amount but when I did my like total budgeting I had $47 left over from like filling my envelopes so I decided I will put it in Disney because we need to start oh and look each airplane is $38 so although park tickets each ticket is 45 so I'll just put it in here um, and then I will do that math later. Okay, so I have money left over, which I think, I think it might equal 100. Let me see. 2, 4, 6, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, so I pulled out 100 extra dollars that I shouldn't have. Um, so I'm going to put this back into the bank because I don't need that. Well, I don't need it in my envelopes. I need to put it back in my account, so. And I was a little bit short when I was looking at my bank account because I don't zero my bank account out because some of my um, other bills are deducted. And so I was doing the math on how much I should have had left from um, spending money, although I might keep this. this actually will go towards like our summer spending. Um, and I was $60 short. And I was like, how does, how did that work out? It didn't make sense. It's because I pulled out Addie's allowance twice and I shouldn't have. So this is 60 of it is the missing $60. Um, so I'll just keep some spending money cash So when Addie and I go on adventures together, um, I have cash to pull from and then leave the rest of the spending money cash in the bank. Phew, I was so concerned. Oh, and then I need, sorry, I'm all over the place. This is what happens when I can't take a, when I don't stay on track with my video. Um, dine out, I'm gonna pull because I'm going to lunch in a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull it all out, put it in. Let me make sure none of these are full. Okay, put it in my dine out. Oh, and my groceries. So whatever I don't spend, I'm definitely not gonna spend this much on lunch, but I like to make sure. I'd rather have more than not enough. And then I will also pull out my weekly grocery allotment. So I have that on hand in case I need it. I think I need to get hamburger buns, but I don't deduct it on my tracker until I actually spend it. So 
That way I can get, I think we're gonna have hamburgers tonight. You get some hamburger buns. So my wallet is filled. Not that exciting. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not really doing that much shopping. I'd rather go on adventures with Addy. Um, I'm gonna total this up to see how much I have in my funds. Uh, that makes me happy to see that. And then in my bank account, some of my, to see my savings actually start growing is really making me um, super happy and proud that I'm doing this. So I guess the teller was right when she was saying she was proud of me because I have been kicking tushy in my savings and I can't wait halfway through the year. Can't wait to see what the rest of the year. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.